Don't you have anything else going on in your life? No. Like, Usually the answer is no. Like nothing? Like couldn't you get something going on in your life? Because I don't feel like I have that much going on in my life, but I can't imagine... I guess I can't imagine going online and getting like super angry because somebody liked something different than me and then needing to advocate for that thing. Like right. I don't, There will be times where I'll make fun of something because it's a really disingenuous take or it'll annoy me, like the Johnny Depp situation. Mm-hmm. Because that has more personal implications. Uh, and there will be times where I make fun of or mock or even shit on a product. But it's not really very personal to me, usually. There's only a few things that I would ever say have been personal. And it's because of sentimental value of like some kind of memory around it. Like what I said about Skyrim, where I used to always play that game with my dad. Mm -hmm. Bethesda does not give two shits who I am. They don't care. They don't even care what I think about Skyrim. But... There are some personal ties I have to that game that kind of, you know, make me care a little more about it. But I wouldn't go online if somebody said, Skyrim's the worst game that's ever made, it's shit, it's uncreative, blah, blah, blah. If somebody said that, I would probably scroll right by them, unless it was an attention-seeking journalist, and then I'd make fun of them. Right. But, like, if it's just some rando, that's not worth my time. Well, also, like, who cares? Right, and what makes them valuable, that person? That, I know it sounds mean, but, like, does their opinion really have that much value? It has no right. more than mine. Probably no less either. But I don't need to care. I don't know them. Why do I even care what they think? You tell them, King. No, <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I see this kind of stuff all the time, especially with something like the, the Snyder people, with the DC EU, where someone will goad them into a fight, like, I, I hate those movies. Ooh, and they take it, like, personally, like, Zack Snyder, like, has his hand on their shoulder. <laughs> and he's like, and he's like about to cry one manly tear if they don't stand up for him. And it's like Zack Snyder does not care who you are. He doesn't know. He's living his life, doing his own thing, making his movies, and doing other stuff. I'm hit. I'm hit. That's awesome if you want to get passionate about stuff. But you're just letting people bait you into a disingenuous argument, and you're playing into it. Mm -hmm. And then those people make you look like an idiot. Like, I cannot tell you how many hundreds of Twitter threads I've read where some Snyder bro guy, <clears throat> like, loses his mind because somebody baited them into an argument. And they just go absolutely bananas about it and freak out. And it's like, you are letting people play you like a fiddle. Mm -hmm. You know, that, I guess, in a roundabout way, that's kind of my thoughts on the console wars, is most of it's bait, or people who genuinely are trying to just justify their purchase. But you let people bait you into these angry fights that they just get a kick out of your response. They don't care what you think. So why bother? Like, why engage those people? It's not a good faith discussion. Um, well, know. who has and, time for that? And also, I think it people Put that it down, <clears throat> go to like hell and back to fight for their company. They don't, and they're sitting there like, oh, the PlayStation's the greatest thing ever. Xbox, whatever. Even people who are like the PC Master Race people will do this a lot too. Those people, to me it's kind of disingenuous to other people's opinions too. And it's also disingenuous to just gaming in general. Because if you are, let's say, an Xbox fanboy, are you really sitting around being like, oh, games like God of War, games like, uh, what are some other places? Bloodborne, Ratchet games and like Ratchet and Clank, Jack Demon's and Daxter. Souls, Jack and Daxter. Are you saying these are like bad games? And if someone out there like loves PlayStation, like that's their favorite thing, you're gonna like verbally assault them because they like these games. But maybe they just like these games. They're good games. And if you're like an Xbox fanboy, why? Thanks for joining the party. I guess my thing is, like, what's the point of, like, overlooking just good video games by being like, oh, I, I like the Xbox. Because it's more fun to go online and call people the N-word. That makes sense. That's true. <laughs> That's true. I know from experience. Being called it, not saying Oh, got it, got it. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Being called it. Like, I don't know, I guess it's like, to me, like, you can be a Xbox fanboy, but what's the point of, like... Trying, like telling someone to kill themselves because they like the PlayStation. I guess my question would be, what's the point of even getting super angry about it? Well, yeah, like, what's the point? Like, and, as a fan of gaming, you should just be like, 
Oh yeah, there's a lot of fun games on the PlayStation. I can't afford it, but they're still fun games. How to die young from stress 101. Well, here's the other thing too with that. Like for me, you can say what you want to about, you know, like, well, Jay, you've gotten mad about this, this, and this, or you've done this, this, and this, but you have to understand, I also get paid to offer my opinion. Right. Like, I'm not trying to say that I just make it up, but you have to understand, like, I also get something out of making the videos beyond just enjoying them, which I do enjoy them. Like, I get to go home with a paycheck. So you're saying if you didn't do that, you wouldn't be sharing your opinions as much? No! Because, like, I wouldn't care as much. Like, you know, why don't you... What is that? With like, know. balls on the ground. Or mines. My balls. You know, it's not that I wouldn't have those opinions, but I wouldn't, like, go out of my way to share them. Because right. the thing is, like, it wouldn't be worth the... the stress, I guess, to deal with the backlash and stuff. I don't know why this stupid thing cuts out. To deal with the backlash and stuff like that if I didn't have a job doing it too, you mm -hmm. know? Just like most of those journalists, and if people say that's disingenuous, you know it's true of everybody. You know that there's things that you don't say that you would say if you were Will Smith or if you were, you know, Elon Musk or someone huge like that where no matter what you're guaranteed a paycheck regardless of your opinion or no matter what you... You offering your take is actually beneficial to you and not like a huge burden. Right. Uh, that's just how humans work. And so it's kind of one of those things where I, I don't understand these people who are for free online, like adding stress to their lives to argue with strangers. Right. But I guess I just wonder what you get out of that. I mean, I, I know attention is one thing because a lot of people don't get attention in real life. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I just feel like there's something better you could do for that. I mean, sure, I do the same thing. I like the attention that I get from my videos. Also, though, I mainly just want to make them and be left alone. You know, like, I'm, I'm not somebody who wants, like, fame. I'm not somebody who wants to be, like, recognized in public, really. If you do, that's awesome. I will talk to you and whatever. But I don't go around like, oh, man, I hope that I interact with people I don't know today. I, I make stuff because I'm like, I like making this. This is the first job I've ever had where I don't actually want to jump off a bridge. Mm -hmm. And I enjoy being able to share these opinions. And that's what it is. But if I didn't have that, I also just don't think I'd have nearly as much of an internet presence because I don't think it would be worth the stress. At all. Right. Well, it's definitely not. Like, why bother with all these random people who want to fight you? Well, and, and also, you can just like the things you like. Yeah, you don't even have to justify it. Like, yeah, exactly. I mean, I think it's... I think it's important to be able to say why you like what you like, because otherwise I think you probably don't understand you that well. Mm -hmm. um, and that's something you and I always used to talk about. Like, you can you can leave a movie and just say, I liked it, but if you if you want to have a conversation with anyone outside of you... I think you need to be able to talk about it, but I also don't think, like, at the end of the day, that it's a super serious thing. Right. Like, it's it's fiction. You know? Right. Like, you don't need to, like, write a paper on every movie you ever watch. No, it looked like there was something behind that. Over there. Oh. I guess that's not Just a lantern. Weird. One by land, two by sea. <sighs> one in my ass, one on my D. <laughs> Captain Finding Nemo or whatever. Is that what it was? Yeah, Captain Finding Nemo. How long is this level? I don't know. I think the level is getting to the end. I wanted to play Elden Ring. I did too. And I'm trying to pump through it. Can you pump through me real quick? I can try. <sighs> yeah, I, I don't know. I guess my thing is like... Not that not that everything you ever like or enjoy has to be some like really deeply analyzed thing. But I guess for that, if if you're not if you say like, oh I really like this thing, and someone says like why? And you're just like Oh I don't know, I liked it. 
Like to me, it's kind of like well, this metal is psychonically charged. You can't even like talk about it at all. Uh, yeah, you know, that, and that's kind of all I asked for. Like, even yeah. if your opinion is dumb, well, and even <laughs> like, I just want right. to talk about it. Like, I have dumb opinions. Well, I really enjoy the Transformers movies. Yeah, that's probably a dumb opinion, but I think they're really fun. They're fun, like, yeah. I, you know, and and I think that they have really cool cinematography with the way they do some of the shots. I think mm-hmm. they have really awesome music. I love the way. I think it's Peter Cullen voices Optimus Prime. Um, I, I, there's just a lot of stuff I really like about it, but there's a lot of dumb too. And I would never get up and babies. Yeah, you know, take a picture of them. I wouldn't get angry about somebody not enjoying them because I get that not everything is for everybody. Even my own videos, I don't get mad when someone doesn't like my video I made. Right. I just don't want them to be a dick. Like that's all I ask. Like if you dislike something I do. That's totally fine. I mean, you could start your own channel. I might hate it, too. I don't know. But just don't be an asshole. And th- that's kind of what I, I guess, expect out of people with everything. This, you know, the console wars, PC gaming, politics, religion, like, even serious stuff. Just don't be an asshole. Mm-hmm. That's really it. Like, if you have a different take, that's that's cool. Like, that's what the world's supposed to be, right? Like, not everybody should be me. I want everyone to be me. I think the world would be very boring. If everyone was me, then everyone would be boring, which is what I want. And then, so. when everyone's Nate, no one will be. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I hey, like the here. uniqueness of people. I guess it's not something that really threatens me. The only people that I really go after for, like, an opinion are people who are, I genuinely think are trying to be disingenuous yeah. or start a fight. Or the people who... Ray, or like attention seeking about their opinion. Like so for example, you'll see this from some venue like IGN or Kotaku or you know, any of them. Where they'll say something that you know there's either no way that they really believe or they went out of their way to say it to piss people off to generate views. Yeah. Those kinds of things Jeez. I don't like because then I know your opinion is entirely fueled by money. It's not even the thing of like I wouldn't share as many opinions if I didn't have money. Yeah. Or if I yeah, if I didn't have an income, it's you are only sharing this to get a paycheck and get people upset. Right. Because that's just fake. There's nothing you can do here, man. Like, well, and also Ray takes like ten minutes to bend down and pick me up. I wish Ray wouldn't take ten minutes to bend over. That's what I, I know. Say. What are you looking for, Joe? in my Lego set. Or it could have been one of them that you like literally bamboozle kicked last night. But I found all of the ones that I bamboozled kicked. What are you looking for? Are you sure you got all of them? Well, there is there is a long piece that's brown like this, like this one. A long brown piece? Yeah, like that one right there? No, that one's not long enough. Hey, and it's really all everything. one piece. Yo, and I suppose I could use two different pieces for it, but, mm. like, mm. what if then yes, I run out for something else? Situation. I suppose it's possible to cause it, but I don't think anything we have is going to make a dent in it. Hey, what's our plan? Ray, you two check out that side. I really wish we had more than Ray. Yeah. Like, that is... That is my yeah, least favorite thing about this game. Could you back up into the area you just came from when... Like, there? Like, go in yeah. here? Yeah. It's such an extreme situation. Like, like, once the babies are here. Could you back up? That is really creepy. Back up a bit. What? Ray, you should check out that side. I think I'm picking up something odd. And now I have an extra one. An indestructible gate attached to a damaged plane. You can cuss it yet, and the hinges might just break loose. Uh... So these are the babies that are... Yeah, and you have to get them... He said that the frame, the door frame is... Uh, damaged. The only hope we have is to stay well, like, their, their attacks are also Olympic. Where are these guys coming targets, from there? Which is the particle throwers aren't doing anything to them. Tether them and smash them into something. Oh my god. You know, it'd also help if Ray wasn't like the worst. I could like, throw him into that. Well, it looks like a good place for Slime Down there. Oh, that frame. The door frame above it. Oh, wait, wait, I got one of them. Oh. God. Now, of course, Ray's down. Get, get in the thing. I can't.
can't. I'm stuck on something. Follow my lead. Okay. Stuck in the middle with you. Why did he run away? I am down. Your face is getting pelted. Like I literally just got Ray up. I went down and Ray's like, "Oh, I'm gonna run over here." Like, just pick me up, dude. Where is he? I don't know because we have like the worst camera angle ever. Why not gonna help? are we irrelevant to this guy or something? There we go. Wow. Figures. If Ray takes ten hours. I literally want to, like, commit to the creators of this professional mode. Okay, well, I think we can't put that in there. No, I also think we can't put that in there. We should have played Elden Ring. Somebody had to play Ghostbusters. Well, I want to be done with the game. I want to finish with this game. Did you see that, did you see that they released Star Wars The Force Unleashed on Switch? Yeah, and so limited run. Yeah, I'm unsure if I want it or not. I actually bought it. You did? Yeah, it was a long time ago, actually. Like two or three months ago. Well, they just they just released it now. They said you could buy it now. Oh, that's odd. I am... Um, why isn't it on PlayStation? I don't know. Okay, why can I not shoot this tether? Because? Got him. Why do we need 10,000 angel babies literally kamikazing us at all seconds? Is that like what the uh, Americans called the Japanese World War II <laughs> angel babies? <laughs> <laughs> POV Americans at Pearl Harbor. <laughs> <laughs> These damn angel babies. <laughs> hey. Come on. Give me up, Ray. Are no! you joking me? No, you had it. Why do we only get a single person for the hardest boss battle I have ever experienced in gaming history? Do you think it's harder than Radon? Yes. Wow. I would rather face Radon than these dumb babies. Would you rather face two Radons at the same time? I would rather face two Radons Yo, than these babies. We've tried everything. This metal is like... Hey, nude guy! <laughs> <laughs> I still laugh when, still laugh when you called it Nude Vegas. <laughs> it's like not even funny at all. I'm really glad you enjoyed that. <laughs> so if you scan them, they just kill you. Yep. And Ray has like a brain aneurysm every single time he tries to pick me up. He's down! Okay, and then I go down. Just pick me up, Ray! Stop standing and like staring at my ball sack. Just pick me up. Somebody's having a problem right now. Yes, I am having a problem. Dude, we need to get Taylor Swift in here to calm you down. Taylor Why Swift Taylor would Swift? only anger me even more. Well, she's hot. Yeah, but Nate doesn't like good music. He oh. likes listening to like Family Force One Out. Yeah, but he likes skinny blonde girls who always put their hair up. But she's not blonde anymore. She changes her hair color like every five seconds. No, no, she doesn't she doesn't she's she doesn't been like brown hair, blonde. <clears throat> she, she has black hair. What? We need oh, family. Are we talking about the same Taylor Swift? Yeah. We need family she force point two. To <laughs> it's just like the last member in an iron lung humming, and they're gonna make they're gonna make an album. If you can cuss it, hits and the hinges might just break loose. Uh, okay. The two well protected. Our energy streams aren't going to hurt you. Peter, go kick one. The only hope we have is to stay alive and keep them away from the echo. I hold. Nate's gonna need a happy ending after this. <laughs> I'm gonna need like three in a row. Okay, that's how you do it. Got it. Why do they have to say this the whole time? I don't know. <clears throat> what hit me? There's a, the baby like kamikaze to you. I couldn't put away my thing. What happened? Oh, okay. Do you want to eat a snack? Sure. <laughs> 